Hello friends, welcome to the new session of Oracle SQL Developer Tips and Tricks for Beginners. In this session, we are going to see how to integrate this SQL Developer with the Visual Studio code. So Visual Studio has been recently released the extension for the SQL Developer. With that, we can integrate the SQL Developer with the Visual Studio code. So before uh, we start the extension download, we will see how to download the Visual Studio code from the internet. So if you have uh, already Visual Studio installed, you can skip this step. Those who don't have uh, Visual Studio code, we can uh, follow this step. Go to the Google and type Visual Studio code and directly navigate to this uh, download link. So I, I have given uh, these links in the description. You can make use of it. So here uh, you need to download uh, based on your uh, machine compatibility. In my case, I'm using Windows machine. So I'm downloading Windows setup. If you have Linux, then you can download from here. Or if you have Mac system, then you can download from here and click uh, download. So it will take a few minutes uh, to do it completed. So if you have already Visual Studio installed in your machines and you can skip this step. That's all the installation of uh, Visual Studio has been completed. And to install uh, this setup file, double click on the setup and this will take directly take you to the visual studio code installation wizard and from in this step click i accept the agreement and click next next and if you want to create this uh, software in the desktop icon then you can click here click install so it will take a few minutes to get completed So that's all dear friends, uh, the Visual Studio Code software has been successfully installed. So click finish and uh, that's all dear friend. Uh, this will automatically take you to the Visual Studio Code, which we have installed now. So if you want to install now uh, the SQL developer extension in Visual Studio Code, go to the Google and type like SQL developer extension for Visual Studio Code. Link, it will redirect to this site. I have given this link in the description. So if you want, you can uh, use this link to download and install the extension. So if you see here, there is an install button and click over here. Click continue. So when you click install on the browser, it will take you to the Visual Studio code. There you will find a new button called installed. Click here. It will take uh, three to five minutes to install the extension for Visual Studio code. So that's all. That's all. My extension has been successfully installed. So I can close here. If you see here, there is a new icon has been added in the left side panel. Click here and click create connection to connect your schema. And it will take you to the connection wizard. So connection name, you can give any connection name you want. So I'm giving landing. And authentication type uh, based on the schema that you are connecting, you can select if you are connecting sys schema, then you have to select sys If you are connecting any normal schema, you can select default. So my case, I am connecting schema called HR. I'm putting my password and I wanted to save uh, my password so that it won't ask uh, me H and every time when I'm connecting schema. So connection type is basic. Host name is uh, local host in my case. Since I have installed uh, database in my local machine, so that I am giving local host as my host name. My port is 1521 and I am connecting my SID. It's not a service name. In my case, it is SID. So XC. Next year, you will get a connection. Test passed. So I can simply click save and save the connection. If you want to see any object which are associated with the schema, you can simply click and you can see the objects. So if you want to write any SQL statement and uh, there is a SQL worksheet icon over here, click here and it will open a new window. From here, you can query any tables. There is a button here for execute the query. Either you can click here or you can press Control Enter. So that's all. So we are getting the result like SQL developer. We can run here. 
So like this similar result set, we are getting the results in our Visual Studio Code. That's all dear friends. I hope this uh, video is clear enough. If you have any doubts on this installation, you can leave a comment in the comment section. I'll try to reply. If you like my videos, you can subscribe my channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much.